Bravo team, entry secure. Move in and take positions. Quiet. Did you hear that? This is Lee. Give me status. Always clear. There's nothing here, Sam. Go on. What the hell? Son of a bitch! Lee, I'm swinging around left. Exceeding safe levels. Marine, Bravo team is down. Their operational status is unknown. They were carrying a military transmission card. It's vital you retrieve that card as it contains encoded data needed to send the distress signal to the fleet. They're the last hope to get reinforcements. Find that card and find it fast. <laughs> Stopped. Exceeding safe levels. Paul Rad, Chief Technical Officer for the NPRO facility. During my weekly inspection of the coolant system, I discovered yet another safety violation. As I've stated repeatedly, our service manuals must be followed to the letter. Now this includes changing back filters for the coolant system on schedule and not when maintenance gets around to it. As you know, unclean back filters will create pressure inside the coolant system's release tubes. Even a minor disruption in a release tube can dislodge or destroy its coolant rod, overheating the core, and possibly sending the entire facility up in smoke. Warning. 
Now let me be clear, if I see this again, the team responsible will be transferred to surgical treatment before the day is over. Exceeding safe levels. Paul Rad, Chief Technical Officer for the NPRO facility. I appreciate UAC's concerns following the number of stress-related illnesses spreading throughout the base. However, I don't understand why we require such a large detail of armed security bots in NPRO. Now, you may disagree, but I trust my team's mental condition far more than whatever programming is running inside those bots. Which brings me to the reason for this report. Today, one of my best engineers, Patrick Thomas, was nearly shot when a bot refused his clearance. That's right, shot. Luckily, a nearby team from maintenance caught up to it and smashed it with a pipe wrench before it could chase Pat down. Now, it'll be days before he's ready to return to work, and I don't think you'll ever get him close to one of those bots again. Our jobs are difficult enough without needing to avoid getting shot. If we're going to be treated like prisoners, I respectfully request that you afford us the courtesy of being guarded by people instead of machines. Audio log of weapon analyst Teresa Chazar, dated November 3rd, 2145. I'm pleased to report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations. We realized a full 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing techniques engineered in the Alpha Lab's molecular compactor. I believe with the ongoing compaction research, we will reach our goal of three times the plasma storage currently available in standard ammo packs. I would also like to mention that all of the employees here at the NPRO plant have been very helpful and quite eager to accommodate all of my requests. For security reasons, I've locked the plasma gun and the extra ammo in locker 063 with door code 972. End of lock. Service bridge now operational.
Reactor core temperature, 585 degrees Celsius. Warning, reactor core temperature beyond acceptable levels. Marine, you gotta find that transmission card. If Swan gets his hands on it, I don't know what he'll do. See the card? No, sir. Okay, let's get to the communications facility. We can stop the transmission from there. Whatever you say, Counselor. Coolant Rod 2, online.
Steve Hammer, service technician. Since Private Swenson wigged out, shot up that drink machine, then lit himself up with a plasma gun, we've all been a bit nervous. All of us in maintenance knew he was losing it. Finally, when that darn drink machine wouldn't accept his credits, he lost it. Started swearing up and down, and you had to laugh when that machine lit up. But before any of us could react, he fed himself enough plasma to power an office building. There wasn't enough head to clean up. Just vapor. It's a bad thing to happen to anyone. Anyway, I know with all the psych problems we've had lately, we need the additional security. But when the guards start going nuts... I don't know, all this extra weapons and ammunition. I mean, do we really need so much firepower laying around? Well, a couple of us decided to lock up all of the unsecured plasma rounds we could find. The code is 734. I think we'll all sleep a bit better tonight knowing it's locked up. Oh! <laughs> 